Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Stacy, and you're watching my horror YouTube channel called Spookums, where we do Halloween stuff and spooky stuff and anything related to horror movies just all year round here. Uh, what I have for you today is a spooky store trip. Um, so we went to, we went Halloween decor hunting at two different home goods in the Dallas, Texas area. We went to the one in Allen and the one that is technically in Plano, but it's right next to Frisco. Um, yeah, so stay tuned because there is so much. I probably, between the two stores, I spent well over an hour. For sure. Like, this is probably the most stocked I've ever even seen a Home Goods before. So, and they, each store has different stuff, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, good for them. Uh, <laughs> so let's get started and I will show you what I found. Okay, so this is the one um, in Plano, um, right right near the Frisco Mall, and man, was I happy to see all this stuff. So much of this stuff I hadn't seen before. I had not seen this house before. Very cool. 17 bucks. that actually isn't as much as I remembered it being, so that's pretty cool. Um, happy little ghosts, though. Too many happy ghosts. I want scary ghosts, but... That was still a really cool piece. I re that was a really nice piece. Um, Fifty dollars. Lots of f this is kind of folk arty, <laughs> like lots of like metal folk art. Um, they have going on here. Such unique pieces. I mean, what even is that? Like, what is that? <laughs> the multicolored vest. I don't. I don't understand what he's supposed to be, but I like it. Um, I, so there's those end caps in the middle. There's aisles and aisles aisles of stuff so take a look at this right here that is a very big house you are looking at like I'm trying to like get around so I can see the price tag and there is no way like I ended up having to look at it off camera it is so big and so very heavy it was $80 um, that is so awesome man just a few tweaks and that would have been in trouble um, <laughs> uh, with me for sure um, oh, a few wreaths, $25 it looked like on that one. Oh, I had so much fun here. And uh, it's really bad, too, because it's been a few days now. Um, let's see, so it's Wednesday. I went, uh, last Sunday. And I'm, I'm experiencing some buyer's remorse, for sure. <laughs> like, oh, maybe I should have picked that up. Okay, so look at this guy, this, like whimsical gold butler guy with the the bird on his head how cool is that how different and unique is that um we have mardi gras stacked skulls is what i'm gonna call those <laughs> the couple of them have pearls in their eyes which really creeps me out <laughs> Corey, i feel you those the pearls in the eyes that's super creepy Corey doesn't listen that's okay um He's my friend. He's weirded out by pearls and eyes. Um, okay, so... $25 for that kind of big gold skull with, like, kind of black crystals um, bursting out of its head. It's very... Very cool stuff. Just end caps and random stuff all over the stores. So much. Um, gargoyle... Um, snow globe which i don't think they oh that one didn't have like a little windy thing so it doesn't sing or anything and it's a little lackluster on the bats in there too but i still liked it so much ray dunn stuff this is just just a peek <laughs> at the ray dunn stuff i think there's actually more in the allen one but as far as, like, stuff goes, there is more stuff at the Plano one, even though the Plano one is much smaller. I think it's close. Go to both of them. And you guys, there's no way I can look at all of this. Like, it's so much, and I'm trying not to be in people's way too much, but 
Yeah. So $25 for like the kind of wooden ghost there. Um, we have some stacked pumpkins with a hat that kind of looks like... Top one kind of looks like a Jack Skellington pumpkin, but... So $30 for that. This is still kind of unique looking. So that right there, I'm going to attempt to look at the price in a minute for several minutes, probably. <laughs> several seconds at least. It's only $10. Like, I didn't think that was a bad price at all. Oh, yep, that's my brain not comprehending how much it is. <laughs> $9.99. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good price for that. Candy corn trees. Yoga skeletons. That was a mad yoga skeleton. He was not zen. He was he was mad. <laughs> I noticed we have witch stocking legs down there. That's so kind of random. Stacks of pumpkins with a, a cat behind it and a raven, $25. If you're into that look, that seems like that would be a pretty good like statement piece. Okay, so we have like branchy trees, right? Um, the little branchy trees over there, they plugged in using like a USB cord or something. Like a, that, that type of connector. I guess you plug it in your computer or something. Or I guess your phone charger. I don't know. Hanging skeletons are cool. Wreaths with eyeballs and branchy wreaths. Uh, we have one that is turned on right there um, for $20. I turn it off. I always try to do stuff like that. like Because we don't want to completely destroy something that one of our fellow... Um, Halloween friends might buy and it's just gonna be like on for hours and hours and hours in a store so I always try to be good about that when other people are careless I mean I don't mind you know turning it on to see how it looks is one thing but just leaving it on is a problem very happy ghost holding the pumpkin I don't even know what there was a little creature up there. I think it was like a beaver or something. I don't know. I uh, saw these different variations of these guys. These kind of gold um, dressed like formal wear couple. Maybe a wedding. Maybe a wedding dress. She does have a bouquet. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Several of, of those. And there's like I think at the other store there's like where they're each individually. So that's kind of neat. Witch, very grandma looking kind of witch with a kitty and also just holding a skull. Like, <laughs> she did something, something crazy that night. Oh man, that, so the witch lady right below those wreaths, the taller ones. That reminds me, like 2020, I think that's just about all home goods had was the pretty witch ladies. Or at least the ones around me, so, you know. There's all, all kinds of stuff going on in 2020, so it's understandable, but uh, it's just nice to see everything back. That $20, I believe, was for the witch sitting on the moon. Oh, okay, no, it is this one. See how now there's, like, the lady in a hat, and she's got a half-gold dress, and they're, the lady's not wearing a dress. She She's, oh, they're just wearing cloaks in the one beside the one that I'm looking at right now. <laughs> you know, whatever suits them. Kind of a really cool designs on the skull. Kind of Day of the Dead-ish, I would say. I think it's pretty, though. Love that uh, frog sitting on the pumpkin there. You don't, it doesn't feel like we get a lot of, like, frog Halloween decor.
Lots of skulls. Any kind of skull you would want. Here, okay, here's a ton of Ray Dunn stuff. Oh, this is near the checkout too. Check near the checkout. There was a lot of stuff like this at both check in the checkout line at both of the home goods I went to. So be sure to check that. Uh, these snow globes were a little confusing. I don't know if they would have made more sense if I had turned them on, but like, which they may have, but they seem kind of empty. Seems like they could either have a bigger cauldron or, I mean, I know like the cauldron is the base, but it still, it felt kind of empty. Look at that. So that's, uh, I didn't, wasn't on it very long, but right back there, there was a candle holder with a snake crawling up it, which was interesting. Okay, so I think this is really, really cool. And I am pretty sure we are at the other home goods now. $25. So, yeah, an owl on a skull with like a candle. This is one of my buyer's remorse items. Like, I don't I don't need it, but like, how often do you see that? You don't see that stuff like that that much. Not with an owl. That was, especially it didn't even have glitter all over it. Why didn't I get that, you guys? Why? So there was a skeleton with butterfly wings, maybe like a fairy situation. That hand, that hand holding the um, candle was cool. More. Okay, so that is a skeleton on top of a pumpkin <laughs> with like butterfly wings. I like their little theme, and that's, it's like they have little, their little themes, and it's so interesting because, like, you notice there's not a whole lot of things. Like, there's only two of those owls. <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, some things are duplicated, but, yeah, we're definitely at the Allen Home Goods now. Um, I mean, there's only one of those ghosts right there, like, and they seem to just cram everything they got out on the floor, so I doubt there's many more. Just a random, like, skeleton with a surfboard. That reminds me of, like, I think earlier in the year we saw, like, a bunch of just, like, skeletons on motorcycles. Like, I feel like that's a gift for somebody. Like, you know, somebody knows someone that's into creepy stuff that also surfs and that just needs to go in their office. Lots of floor signs. Also, one thing about them cramming everything in there like they do, it's really, sometimes it's very hard to get to stuff without actually, like, almost knocking things over, which I just refuse to do, so I can't look at everything. A few gnomes, some Ray Dunn mugs. Um, some skulls, more gnomes. Kind of dig these gnomes at the bottom here with the skull and the black and orange. Sort of a candy, or not candy, oil slick <laughs> um, skull there. Iridescent maybe, oil slick carnival glass looking thing lots of stacks of pumpkins for sure I like those black pumpkins with the the um, gold um, stands on them I think I would like them better if I don't know I'm not sure about the orange and black but I still like them $25. See, we have another kind of like fairy skeleton down there. And we have like a kind of cushy, soft pumpkin uh, wreath that was pretty cool. We have some pillows and blankets. Almost bought that Hocus Pocus blanket 
I really thought about it. I'm just being ridiculously picky about blankets this year. I, like I always am. I don't know why. I guess just because I have so many. I usually end up always getting a $10 Target one. They're not as big and not as nice, but like I said in pri prior videos, my dog's going to take them over anyway. Lots of napkins. Platters. Three count. Those are like plastic. I don't think I, for some reason I didn't get the price of those on camera. I know I looked at them. But I don't remember what they were. I really like this stack of black pumpkins, you guys. Uh, it's a hundred dollars. I wish I could have seen it lit up. So this is just like a metal sculpture of skeletons going down a slide. Um, it was quite expensive. I forget how much it was. I think you could kind of see the price tag there. Another table full of stuff. Still really like, well, we got like a pumpkin house with ghosts in it. Little platters of stuff. I really like the mugs there. Really like this big, what I guess is a big candle holder. I have one similar to that that I got at, oh, only $12.99. That was pretty big too. Ugh. So I have one similar to that that I got at at home last year, I believe, but it was black and red. Lots of gnomes, lots of, then we got some cauldrons with some um, plants in them, fake plants. Cushy plaid pumpkin. Some plates. Oh, you know, I wonder, I wish I would have dug in those plates a little bit more. Some little mad skeleton candle holders. Um, um I guess I was switching hands. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Twelve ninety nine, that's not bad. Really like the um bat cup. I'm not I don't know. It's interesting colors, for sure. It almost doesn't read Halloween to me. Like, it's bats, so of course it's Halloween. But it kind of reads like... Kind of reminds me of the bat socks that I got from the um, World's uh, Wildlife Federation. Um, that, you know, where you donate to the animals and stuff. It's WWF, but it's like... It's for wildlife now, not wrestling. <laughs> Love the teapot with the raven crow thing on it. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know what I would do with the teapot. I probably wouldn't use it. But I love the art on those. Uh, sorry. That is my grumble grumble. I wish I had bought that. I think. I don't know. I do really like them. I need to, I think I need to start buying more art, art off Etsy. Like instead. Because there's uh, so many things that I like are like. I really like the scene on them, but not like the actual item isn't that useful to me. So I need to just buy like, start buying some small like art off Etsy. Purple trees with eyeballs in them, very whimsical. Those uh, cauldrons with the uh, fake plants coming out of them would be great for some year, some yeah, some year-round decor. Love those candles. I look at them every time. I, the candle holders, the kind of pink red ones with the iron type design, spider designs on them. Ugh. Okay, now we're gonna look at that Dracula thing down there, and you're gonna help me figure out what this is. I know you guys know, but I have no idea what this Dracula thing is. It's got a hole in it. It's with all, it's a Ray Dunn thing. It's $25. Um, yeah, no idea. Kind of looks like a birdhouse, but I'm pretty certain it's not a birdhouse. Maybe to like hold napkins or something. Wish I would have got those Hocus Pocus towels. That's awesome. Look, they have Thackeray Binks on them, and it's like 
not super goofy looking. Only $10. And I'm just like, no, I'm going to put this back. I don't need this. I do have a haul video coming up, though. I didn't walk away empty-handed for sure today. So, um, yeah, be sure to stick around if you want to see what I did end up buying. I like the ha <clears throat> I like the Happy Halloween thing back there. Kind of a casserole dish. Felt heavy duty. Canisters. That pillow is absolutely gorgeous. Looking for the press tag. <laughs> you have no idea how much footage of the floor that I have to cut out of these, you guys. You don't even know. $30. Kind of an, a, a bigger pillow than normal, I would say. Longer. Oh, man. They're, so their pillows were a mess. I tried to, like, straighten them up a little bit. So this is after I tried to straighten them up. I tried to, like, straighten them where I could get a good look at them. And they just wouldn't. They weren't having it. <laughs> they just fell right back down. Another haunted house pillow. This one lights up, as you can see. That was amazing, and I really wanted it. And But I already have haunted house pillows, you guys. I didn't need it. Okay, so I really like that. He's like, so it's $60 there. He's kind of like a scarecrow-ish looking. Kind of reminds me of the scarecrows off of Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow. And speaking of Tim Burton, <laughs> we have um, Nightmare Before Christmas glasses. Very cool. Purple wine glasses. Very cool. All right, so that's all I got for you today. Um, thank you for sticking with me for over 20 minutes. Listen to me talk about Halloween decor at Home Goods. Some really awesome stuff. Um, we have some really awesome stuff coming out soon. I hope I'm going to Michael's to a fully stocked Michael's. Like we already have a Michael's video out that came out a couple days ago, but that was more of like a sneak peek. I'm pretty sure I am going to a fully stocked Michaels. I'm going to try to go tomorrow. If not, it'll be this weekend and try to get that video to you guys soon. I will um, have my first big haul video of this year, hopefully coming out this weekend. So yeah, uh, maybe subscribe, maybe stick around. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next spooky store trip.